The Major League Baseball draft is currently taking place in Los Angeles. KSBY sports anchor and reporter Dusty Baker is live down there at the Xbox Plaza. Dusty, all eyes in the country have been on Kyle Pauly shortstop Brooks Lee, who was expected to be an early pick in this draft. So tell us, where is Brooks Lee going? Well, good evening, Claudia. In fact, Brooks Lee has been selected. As far as we've been talking about for a very long time, he was a top prospect. Some people say he could go even at number one to the Baltimore Orioles. You may say that he slipped a little bit today compared to what we were hearing. We were hearing the Orioles. We were hearing the Pirates at four. We were also hearing the Cubs at seven. He goes eighth to the Minnesota Twins. And while it may have seemed a little bit unexpected, this is a great fit for Brooks Lee. And we talked to Brooks Lee about his reaction to being picked by these twins and his expectations moving forward. Uh, it's awesome. I think I'll fit in that system very well and uh, when I make it to the big league level it'll be nice. I can't wait to represent the Lee family and uh, the city of San Luis Obispo and Cal Poly. And, uh, I'm an old school player just like the rest of the people in my family so uh, I'm sure I'll fit right in and show them what it's like to be a Lee. Well, Brooks had an absolutely elite and incredible career at Cal Poly. How about his slash line, first of all? In 2021, he had a 342, a 384, 626 slash line, and somehow it got better. If you're sitting at home and you're wondering what a slash line is, you're looking for an average above 300, and on base percentage around 330 above is great. And a slugging percentage anywhere above 500 is incredible. Brooks Lee surpassed that with flying colors. In 2022, this season, he hit 350. And on top of that, 15 home runs, 25 doubles. He broke the Cal Poly doubles record his last season with 27, but also an on base percentage that's just elite at 462 and the slugging percentage of 664, one of the best in the country. It's no shock that he was a top prospect going into this draft. 